color exists in everything around us, including noise. Do you ever feel as if you're drowning in a sea of noise, desperately trying to make sense of all the chaos around you? There's a nifty little trick to help you make sense of all those ear-shattering noises, and that involves, wait for it, colors. Yes, you heard me right. Today, we're going to explore the world of color noise and see how it can help you navigate the cacophony of everyday life. Believe it or not, every sound has a color, based on the frequency range of that noise on a spectral reference. It's like a rainbow for your ears. And just like a rainbow, there are different colors of noise to choose from. There's white, pink, brown, blue, violet, gray, and black noise. So, if you've ever wondered what color your boss's voice is when he's yelling at you, now you can put a label on it. The color of the noise is based on the frequency range of that noise on a spectral reference. More specifically, the frequency of the corresponding light wave. But which color is the most common? Drum roll, please. It's white noise. And no, it's not because it's the whitest noise out there. It's just the more people have heard of it than any other color of noise. Let's talk about white noise. The acoustic version of white light. This type of noise is like the holy grail of sounds, including all frequencies that humans can hear in equal proportions, from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. It's like the perfect mix of sounds that can make you feel like you're in a peaceful oasis, far away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Imagine listening to the sound of a waterfall or crashing waves, but without the actual waterfall or beach nearby. That's the magic of white noise. It's like a symphony of soothing sounds that can make you feel like you're in a dream world. But white noise isn't just about feeling relaxed and calm. It has some practical uses too. For instance, it can help you sleep better by drying out any background noise, increase your focus while studying, and even help you navigate through the city like an ambulance driver. However, there's a dark side to white noise. Some researchers have found that too much exposure to white noise can lead to hearing loss and even accelerate the aging of your brain. So, it's important to use it in moderation and not overdo it. Don't let white noise be your sleeping beauty that turns into a hearing monster. But, did you know? There is another type of noise that many people think is even more pleasant than white noise. Have you ever heard of pink noise? It's like the cooler, more relaxed cousin of white noise. Instead of being the jack of all frequencies, pink noise has less energy in high frequencies, which gives it a deep, soothing quality. Think of the sound of rustling leaves, pattering raindrops, or gentle winds. Pink noise can help you drift off into a peaceful sleep, boost your memory, and have you feeling more relaxed in no time. And best of all, it won't harm your ears like some other type of noises. And now, get ready to rumble. We've got a new contender in the noise arena, brown noise. Don't let the name fool you, the noise is actually red in color, but it's all about the sound. Brown noise is like the love child of white and pink noise, with a deeper, lower frequency that'll make you feel like you're sitting in the middle of a thunderstorm or a waterfall. 
Just like its pink cousin, brown noise has some seriously awesome benefits. It's been touted as a brain booster, helping to improve cognitive performance. So, if you're looking for a new way to chill out and kick your brain into high gear, brown noise might just be the ticket. The remaining four noises are blue noise, violet noise, grey noise and black noise, which are less well known than the other three. Blue noise is fundamentally different from pink noise because it is more of a high range rather than low pitched and blue noise is often used to reduce distortion. Next is violet noise, also known as differential white noise, for the reason that it is the result of the signal differential of white noise. Violet noise is not very different from blue noise, because it is a natural sound, but at a much sharper level and often used in the treatment of tinnitus. On the other hand, grey noise is a special type of noise due to it does not exist in nature, but it's specifically programmed to assess a person's hearing because the energy levels between the frequency bands are the same. Finally, there is black noise, the most distinctive type of noise and also the opposite of all other noises because it is mute noise. In other words, Black noise is absolute silence, since it kills other sounds. So far, we've not been able to determine the exact frequency of this noise, but some people think it is a super bass similar to a natural disaster or a type of ultrasound beyond the threshold of human hearing. And there you have it, the seven rainbow hues of noise. Who would have thought that something as seemingly simple as noise could be so colourful and fascinating? It just goes to show that science can be full of surprising and weird discoveries that pique our curiosity. So, next time you hear some white noise or feel the calming effects of pink noise, you can impress your friends with your newfound knowledge of the rainbow of noise. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any video about science and mysteries.